Hey my people, welcome to the um, first slow review of the year. Uh, I'm going to speak really fast so I can make it so it's so, so. Okay. Okay. Um, I've known about puppies for a while. Um, this is their slow gin and they're spelled slow as in I should be speaking like this. Um, as in opposite to what the fruit actually is. So we will have the sound of happiness. The smell of happiness is thrown down. There is a shit ton of fruit in this. At least one shit ton, okay? And now I have had the pleasure of pouring myself a little bit before. The room is warm. The day has been warmish. And. Oh damn, that's, that's an interesting noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is. I'm smelling. I'm not smelling. I'm smelling plums. Um, slow is. Um, you get the damn botanical. Um, they're saying it's a Davidson plum, which makes it a local native. This is not the European slow. So this is not a, a Europe. It, we're reading off the back of the bottle. It, okay, they're, and they're saying that they're making it out of. Um, yeah, the Davidson plum. So this is an Australian native plum gin, um, which I actually didn't appreciate when I bought it because I'm. That's the reason why the nose is damn, damn elusive. Oh, there's a shit ton happening in that. Sorry, it's just when you're going to get tasting these things, you you sip it, you breathe out, you suck the air back in, it goes over your palate, and my palate went just went holy fuck. Um. Oh, sorry. There was just so much happening in this gin. Um, it's twenty six percent. It's at a Brookies in um. The McLeod shoot New South Wales wherever the 2439 postcode is this is where it's at um, I assume it's up near Byron Bay um, why the fuck haven't I tried this gin before this is just amazing oh, oh yeah an exquisite use of Australian native botanicals. Um, Davidson Plum, I think I played with it underneath those when I was a kid. It's a native. Um, this is just sheer magical. What would I eat it with? Um, this is getting turned into, a, I think, a, a suspiciously you know, lethal sangria. And sangria, as we know, is Spanish for um, blood. And so it's only made with red wine or slow gins. Um, Oh god, this is this is mine. That's what it is. This is mine. You can go and get your fucking own. Okay. Um, this is. I mean, I knew these guys were good, but holy fuck. Um, I know I'm not making any apologies at all for the fuck word. This is really very good. In fact, if I sit there and sip this um, and just analyze what is happening on my palate, it's complex. I can feel, taste the plums in there, so I can taste the, the right, bright red fruit. It's incredibly fruity. Um, I assure you, it's not going to be a burden to knock back a jug of sangria made out of this baby on Christmas Day. And they're saying, take it slow. One part brookie, slow gin, one part tonic. One part soda, ice cubes, and sliced strawberries and mint. My part says, um, what you do is you just make a slow, uh, make a, a sangria, which is going to be this. Um, apple juice, orange juice, a bit of cinnamon tossed in. Sorry, heat up the um, apple and orange juice, toss in your cinnamon and perhaps anise if you must. Um, cool it down, add this baby, add ice cubes, grab a large glass, and that's it, your afternoon's fixed. Um, 
This is just completely fucking magical stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Oh, look at the colour of it. This is mine. Thank you for subscribing, like, and share. And, um, by the time this gets to air, this will be completely drunk because I intend to drink this on Christmas Day. And this should be coming to air late January. Thanks for being part of my life in 2024. It's a rose road to actually thank you. And 